In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this really quick and simple fish eye lens effect. So let's get into it. So the first step of this process is to go into your project tab. We are going to go into this button here, which is new item and select black video. Drag that on top of your footage and extend that to cover the entire duration of the clip. Now we are going to go into the effect controls panel, go to video opacity and select the ellipse mask tool. So we've got this black circle in the middle of the video. Now we want to select inverted and we can increase the expansion or alternatively, we can move these points. It's completely up to you, but I'm going to do a mixture of the two. I'm going to increase the mask expansion and then I'm going to move the left point and the right point over. Now you don't want this to be touching the sides. You want this to be just before the top and the bottom. Same thing with the left. You can make that really wide, but I'm going to keep this quite tight in this example. Not too much because then you'll just end up with a vignette. You just want to soften that off a little bit as if it's just the softness on the edge of a lens. The next step is to actually distort the video. And to do that, we are going to go into effects, search for lens distortion, drop that onto our video, not the black video. And we are just going to increase the curvature. Then we need to go up into motion and increase the scale. Now, if you've got a dark video like I have, where there's a lot of black in the frame, then you can go to fill color and make this a dark color. Alternatively, if you've got a lot of white or a lot of green or a lot of blue around the frame, then you can do this just to soften up those edges. But you can see I have got this harsh edge down here, so I do need to increase the scale to counteract that. I'm also going to move the position of this over to the left a little bit to center me up. And because I've done that, I need to move the lens distortion effect over a little bit because it's distorting my face as if it was on the edge of the frame. So to do that, I can go into these settings. Now, the vertical prism effect is going to work wonders for us. I'm going to adjust that and the horizontal decentering. So I'm just going to play with these numbers a little bit until I get to a point where I am happy. And I feel like that looks pretty good. So we're getting that nice fish eye lens effect. And if somebody was really close to the camera, then you would really see this effect in full force. Now, the last step of this process is to create that nice soft chromatic aberration on the edge of the lens. So to do that, I'm just going to copy this video. I am going to unlink the audio first though. Then I'm going to make a copy. So command C, move over command V, and we want three versions of this. So paste in another two. Now copy and paste on Mac, Command C, Command V, on Windows, Control C, Control V. Then we just want to stack those videos on top of each other, like this. We'll go into Effects and search for RGB, and we want to find Color Balance RGB. Highlight all of those copied videos and drag Color Balance RGB onto all of those. Now on the top layer, we're going to go into effects and we're going to change green to zero. And we're also going to change blue to zero. And then we're going to set the blend mode to screen. On the middle layer, we are going to change the blend mode from normal to screen. And then we're going to change red to zero and blue to zero. Now the last step is to go onto the last video layer, ignore the blend mode. We want to keep this one as normal. And now we're going to go into color balance and set red at zero and green at zero. So now we have our normal footage back. However, at this point, if we click onto one of these layers and we just move it over in space, you can see we're getting that chromatic aberration effect now appearing. So move your clips around until you end up with something like this. And then you want to highlight all of those again, go into effects and search for blur. Drop the Gaussian blur onto all three of those layers, and then we are just going to change the blur. So on the top layer, I'm going to pull it up to a really high number. On the second layer, I'm going to keep that quite sharp. So I'm just going to keep that at around 10. And then on the bottom layer, I'm just going to go for a random number again. So we'll go for about 30 or 40. Now I'm going to highlight all of those, right click and select nest. Feel free to rename, but I am going to be lazy. Then just drag that on top of your video footage and you can see we've lost our clean video. We just have this blurry chromatic aberration video. So to get rid of this or to mask this off, we need to go to effect controls, 
go to opacity, select the ellipse mask tool, and you can see we've now got the blurry circle and the sharp edge. So we just need to select inverted, and then we're gonna move these points towards the edge. So you don't want them to be on the edge because then we'll lose the effect, but you just want to push them out towards the edges so we have this nice border. Then we'll increase the mask feathering, and we can also increase the mask expansion just to push that effect off towards the edges. But now you'll notice when you play this back, this is the effect that we now have. Now, I've done this on one video clip. If you had an entire project, so let's say you wanted to add this onto a whole music video, then I would edit the entire music video without the effect. Then once I was happy with it, I would nest everything into its own nested sequence and then I would apply the effect onto the nested sequence and treat that nested sequence as a single layer. It's better than having to do the effect over and over again for different clips. Just nest everything and that's going to be the quickest way of doing this effect. But that is how you create this awesome fisheye lens effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro.